What is up, guys? Welcome back to Wild Rift University. I'm Thing One, and today I have a really awesome topic for you. I'm going to be talking about how to trade and also um, trading around minion aggro. And I think this is something that we all struggle with. So we get into a game, and our enemy gets in range, and we want to target them. And as soon as we do, all the minions just start attacking us, just like this. And they just start, like, absolutely just, like, wrecking us because they're attacking us so much. And we're just like, dang, what do I do? Like, I can't win a trade because every time I try and trade, I just get destroyed by the minions. And so we don't really know, like, how to get around this, how to um, stop these trades from happening. So I want to kind of explain to you guys how minion aggro works. So if you look right here, if I attack him right now, the minions change their aggro. And the only way to get out of that is if I basically go into the bush. All right, I'm going to make myself invincible real quick, guys, just so that way... I don't sit here and die. So, and let's say like, okay, I'm over here. I try and attack them. The minions immediately attack me. So what you have to realize is there's actually a, um, like a minion range to where they can attack you and to where they actually like see you as a threat. Okay. And I'm going to show you this real quick. So right now, here he is, as you can see, I'm attacking him and he's not attacking me, but watch as I get closer. See, now, now he's actually attacking me. And the only way to drop that is to get in range or out of sight. I either have to run away until it stops attacking me. But then sometimes if you run away, you're like, man, if I just keep running, look how far away I have to go just to get this thing to stop attacking me. And then by then you lose a ton of minions. So you have to kind of understand what side should I attack from. So if I'm looking at this situation right now, I wouldn't want to attack from this angle, actually. What I'd want to do is actually kill this minion first then attack him from there because that's actually going to be where I can attack and not have to worry about the minion attacking me. Unfortunately, the other minion just came up. So sometimes in order to get a trade in, you actually need to thin out the wave first. Like right now, I want to get a trade in because he's in a bad spot. So I would clear out the wave so that way I can get a trade in. So as you can see right now, now if I was over here, I wouldn't want to put a trade in because if I put a trade in over here, I'm going to take minion aggro and I have to run away in order to get rid of it. But from here, I can put in that trade unless, like I said, the minions are coming up once again. If the minions are coming up again, then you have to reevaluate where the trade. So now I can't really get a trade in without minions targeting me. So what I have to do is I have to focus on, okay, what minions do I have to get rid of in order to put a trade Okay, and basically you can learn this because the minion aggro range is pretty close to the uh, range of like your auto attacks. So like if, it, if it's in the range of your auto attacks, that minions in the range of your auto attacks, you're basically going to be in the range of that minion as well. So, you know, if there's minions in that auto attack range that you're going to need to um, basically attack. So see right here, I'm able to attack him, but no minions are attacking me because I'm outside. But if I get into the range of the minions, see, as soon as I'm basically in auto attack minion range. Now, of course this varies because some champions have um, more range than others, but, whoops, sorry guys. Um, this is gonna be a kind of like, it's, it's definitely something that takes a lot of practice because this is not just like an easy thing that you're gonna learn overall. But like, if you're somebody who like, when you're playing, you're like always trying to get trades in, and you can't figure out when and how to get them in without getting attacks. This is kind of like a good example of, to show you like how to actually do it. So knowing which angles you can get. So right, right here, there's really no angle I could get him. The only because of where they are at. So I would have to clear the minion wave a little bit before I could do a trade. Okay. And if I didn't do that and I tried to get a trade in, I'm actually going to take potentially a losing trade. Because, okay, like here, watch. Let's say I decide to attack him. Okay, I do 223 damage to him in that time, okay? But the minions are attacking me this whole time, and realistically, he'd be attacking me as well. The minions are going to do, you know, close to 200 damage, 150 damage to me in about three seconds, okay? Plus the auto attacks or abilities that the enemy's going to cover. So it's going to be a losing trade. So in order to get winning trades in lane, you need to be aware of where the minions are at and if attacking is going to create minion aggro. Now, I wanna show you something else, okay? So there's different things that cause minion aggro. Auto attacks always cause minion aggro because it's an auto attack, okay? But what if I want to attack the enemy and I don't want to create, well, there are ways to do it. Skill shots do not. So for example, if I shoot this skill shot, 
a skill shot is not going to attack minion aggro. However, if it's a targeted ability, for example, Twisted Fate's a great example, like my S2, the S2 is going to create it. So another way to kind of look at this is if you have a champion that has skill shots, will you have a way to actually abuse um, minion aggro? And not all champions have skill shots. I mean, most do. But if you have a champion that can actually uh, use skill shots, you can abuse minion aggro. Now, once again, if you're not using a skill shot, if it's an aimed or targeted ability, then you will, unfortunately, maintain that minion aggro. Um, so once again, let me show you here. I want to get on him. I want to put some damage on him. I can throw a skill shot on him. Minions won't attack me. But the second I use any type of ability that is like a point to click, like my S2 or my S3, those are going to immediately drag me the aggro, which I have to run away in order to um, lose the aggro. So anyways, guys, I hope this video, this isn't a super long video, and there's way more that you can kind of go into this, but I hope this gives you guys kind of like a basic understanding of like how to help you win trades in lane. I think a lot of people actually really struggle with this. And I think a lot of times people don't even realize they're struggling this and don't realize like how they're actually losing trades in lane due to the fact that they're not understanding how to not proc minion aggro and how to properly trade, okay? And I think a lot of times people like to still fight even when the minions are attacking them. And you're really doing yourself a disservice looking for opportune trades unless it's a trade where you know you're going to out damage them even if the minions attack you but if it's a trade where you know you're not going to be able to damage them if the minions attack you it's actually a worthless trade because all you're doing is helping the enemy win so take the time learn which is which and it will definitely help you be more successful in lane and helping you win their game because realistically guys the, the easiest way to win the game is to win your lane because if you're stronger than the enemy, then you're going to um, basically be able to beat them when the game actually starts getting to lane or out of laning phase. If you're weaker than the enemy, then it's like way harder to win. So think about this, guys. Utilize it. I know this is not a super easy concept. Um, it takes a lot of practice. And a lot of times you're going to feel like, oh, man, I'm missing trades that I could have done. Um, and... You probably will, but the, the truth of the matter is if you win these down, like if you get really good at this, you'll be able to win trades that your enemy won't even understand like how you're winning, how you're not taking minion aggro and things of those nature. Because like things like this, like he, he he's just not going to understand because he's not going to realize that like, hey, what's going on? Like right now there's this one minion and understanding that I can just get rid of this one minion real fast then I'm in a position where I can trade unless that minion, you know, moves. Um, but yeah, you guys kind of get the concept that I'm trying to uh, give you here. Uh, hopefully this helps you and hopefully it'll help you win your guys' trades and game and uh, just make you more effective and help you rank up. Because guys, we've talked about it all the time. Getting better at the game isn't winning. Uh, I know a lot of us think that getting better at the game is winning. Getting better at the game is learning things like this. These are the types of things that help you improve at the game, become a better player. Because if you watch my bell curve video, um, the more little things that you improve on, the more your skill level leans towards the next rank and the next level. Okay? So I'll see you guys in the next Wild Rift video.